Good morning, campers. Yeah, I see you over there, Harrison. I see you. No. Good morning, Archer. Good morning. Good morning, Harrison. Good morning. No. Hmm. What are you doing? No. No? Okay. No. Lots to talk to you guys about today. Uh, first, I guess I will just start off with my toe. Um, it is a little less swollen. It's definitely less bruised. So there's only one little small spot of bruising on there. Um, I can wiggle it this way and I can stretch them out like this, but it does hurt when I stretch them out like this. So did I really break it? I don't know. Am I gonna go get it looked at? No. It's not like sideways, so uh, they can't really do anything for me anyways. So yeah, that's the update on my toe. I'm not gonna show you guys it today because it doesn't really. All right, all right, you guys talk me into it, I'll do it. There it is, there's my toe. As you can see, there's just a little bit of bruising right here. Um, like I said, I think it still looks bigger than my other toe, but. And it hurts if I like touch it. Ooh, right there hurts. Kind of hurts a little if I push there. But if I push on this side, it doesn't hurt. So that's my toe. Um, Archer is still doing really great taking naps in his crib. I just bundle him up and I set him in his crib, turn on the white noise machine, and he pretty much falls asleep on his own. Um... He does not like to fall asleep being held. So it's just, it's a lot to get used to since Harrison like still to this day wants to be snuggled to sleep. <coughs> it's definitely an adjustment for me. But it's also nice because I can like, fold laundry or get some more time in with Harrison or do the dishes and I don't have to like constantly sit down and let him sleep in my arms and just worry about everything that's not being done. So that's really nice. Um, yesterday, I think it was yesterday, I tried to wrap a present with Harrison and I got a little ahead of myself with that one I think. Maybe next year he'll do better. But I had all this stuff out. He didn't touch the scissors or anything, but I let him hold onto the pen because he carries a pen around. And he, like, colors and stuff with him, so. He, but he took the pen and he punched it through the wrapping paper. And um, then the wrapping paper ripped, so he's been slowly ripping away at this present that we wrapped yesterday. Needless to say, we didn't wrap another one. So now there's a present under my tree because I haven't rewrapped it yet. I'm going to. But, uh, here it is. That doesn't go there. That doesn't go there. He's ripped that off. So there's a giant hole. I've got to rewrap that. But I'm not going to do it while Harrison's awake. Because it was very, very stressful for me. What is that? Hmm. Um, one more thing that I want to tell you guys about, and this is quite lengthy, so let me take a sip of water and I will get right back to you. So as you guys know, Tiffany was working for home, from home for a little while because of her COVID exposures. Um, there's just protocols through work. They finally cleared her to go back to work, so she went back to work this week. And it's been an adjustment for all of us. Um... You know, like, she spent most of the time in the bedroom, in the office, doing her work. But, like, when she came out for lunch, it was nice. And so I think Harrison, I mean, we all have had a hard time with her going back to work because, you know, we miss her during lunchtime. Um, she was getting out of work a little bit earlier because she didn't have the drive time home. She didn't have to get up as early because she didn't have the drive time there. So it's just been an adjustment. Um, 
So today, I really wanted to get us out of the house, you know, and we don't have a big yard to play in. And I can't chase Harrison around right now because I have Archer too. And, you know, I can't really run with him or anything. So I wanted to take him to my mom's so he can like play around. The yard is fenced in. We don't have to worry about it. He can run. He can run with the dogs. And he can play with Meadow and play with my mom. And I was just looking forward to being there and him burning some energy there. And so long story short, we think Harrison has a slight allergy to dogs. So this has happened twice now. The last time we went there and then today it happened. Um, and both times it's happened, my sister's dog has also been at my mom's house. So my mom has two dogs and then my sister has a dog that my mom sometimes watches. And my mom's two dogs, they like Harrison, but they don't like, they're not in the puppy stage anymore. They don't want to jump on you. They don't want to kiss you. Mabel wants to play with her Frisbee and Milo just wants to cuddle with my mom. So, I mean, they play, but they don't want to, they don't want to tackle you. But my sister's dog is still a puppy. And I mean, she's like one probably. And so she likes to lick Harrison and she likes to get up in his face and they like to chase each other around and it's so cute. Harrison loves my sister's dog. But we noticed last time we were with her where the dog kissed Harrison on the face and on the hands, um, he started to break out a little bit into hives. But we weren't sure, we weren't for certain if it was the dog because he was also running around outside with my mom in the dark looking at Christmas lights and uh, he fell in the grass, so I thought maybe, maybe he like fell into one of those prickly weeds, you know? And he uh, like had irritation to that because I know those prickly weeds irritate my skin. So I can only imagine what his skin experiences, you know? So he had some stuff on his face. We gave him some Benadryl just in case because it was right before bed and we didn't want anything to happen right before bed. Um, so we gave him some Benadryl and it went away. Well, today we went over there and he definitely did not fall in the grass and it happened again. So we had to leave my mom's house and that was really hard because like I said, we were looking forward to letting Harrison play over there and like I was just looking forward to him burning off some energy. I didn't want to have to leave right away and it was it was really hard. Things have been really... It's just an adjustment, you know. But my mom felt bad and she was crying and then I felt bad because she was crying and Harrison was crying because he didn't want to leave because he was so excited to be there. Oof. But anyways, he had some red splotches on his face again and on his hands. It doesn't seem to spread anywhere else on his body. So that's why we think it's just from like the saliva of the dog. Um, I didn't give him Benadryl today. I wanted to see, like, I just wanted to watch it. So I washed his hands and I washed his face with like a soapy rag and everything seems to be fine now. But that's how our day has gone. So needless to say, I didn't really want to pick up the camera today. I wanted to just kind of let everybody relax because my anxiety is heightened. Harrison has been stressed out because, you know, he wanted to hang out with my mom. But I think he's fine now. He's getting some extra iPad time. What are you watching? What are you watching there? A cupcake. A cupcake? Uh -huh. Wow! How many cupcakes are there? No, maybe we will watch them. Oh, okay. What color are the cupcakes? No! You just want to watch the cupcakes? Mm -hmm. Okay. How are you feeling? Can you look at me? No. Nope. All right. Well, he does not want to be filmed right now, so I will respect his wishes. <sighs> Anyways, 
like I said, that's how our day has gone. Tiffany is on her way home. I actually, she's probably home right now. I need to put dinner in. We are having hot dogs for dinner. Easy peasy, so. Hi, hi, hi. You wanna sing this song again? Do you? Hmm? Are you ready? Look at that double swirl. Uh, he's okay. <laughs> we'll figure something out. We'll brush it one way, won't we? See, Mom, we'll figure it out. Because, Archer, you have one brother and two mommies and three kitties and four grandparents and five little stars in your eyes. <laughs> you do. That's the Archer 1 to 5 song. <laughs> Available on iTunes and Google Play. Yeah, right. It really isn't. Nobody would want to buy a copy of my voice, would they? Would they? Would you? Everyone would want to. No. No. Hmm. Do you know that... <sighs> I'm, I'm going to be honest and I'm, I'm going to be real with you. People I used to work with when mm -hmm. American Idol first came out told me to go audition. Yeah, but here's the thing. Anyone <clears throat> who sings, people tell them to go try out because they want those people to feel good. And... Right, because they're being supportive. Yeah. Yeah. But they're but... not always being honest. And I, th I think honest might be a little harsh of a word to use. Why? I don't think that they're, I don't think, I think that their love and devotion to their friend mm -hmm. or family member ranks higher than like if they could actually make it and not be, you know, embarrassed or hurt. Like, I don't think they think about that. Uh, I think they probably do. You think so? I think some people think, you know, there's no way she's making it, but let's make her feel good. But I think there are other friends and family who are like, wow, you really are good. I love listening to you sing. Mm -hmm. Because they just love you so much that they just don't even think you're going to fail. Right. Right? I was recently reading that there was, and, and I don't know the whole story, and somebody might know it, and I'm sorry, and I don't know if you do, but there was somebody on one of those singing shows like maybe it was the voice over in the UK okay. mm -hmm. and apparently this person used to be like a pink impersonator Okay. and they like called her and asked her to be on the show and they asked her, they told her to prepare some songs and did she, they bring her on to make fun of her? Yeah, that's what it seems okay. like from the stories I read I the hearing. headline of that and I did not read the story. Yeah, like, so basically she had never planned on coming looking like pink singing any of Pink's songs, but when she got there, they basically were like, you have to sing a Pink song, or you're not going on. So it's like they kind of forced her. Oh. So while she's on stage and they're telling her that, you know, sorry, you, you can't, you know, Move you shouldn't on. have sang Pink. Right. She's like, you told me to sing Pink. You know, so she just mic drops right on the stage. Oh. But, like, people know and they support her. Huh. You know, because people believed her. Right. She actually can sing, and she's super nice. But, like, I don't know the whole story, but, like, <sighs> nothing is ever... I mean, if something seems, like, too good to be true, mm -hmm. it... <clears throat> aside from our love <laughs> <laughs> and these little babies, I'm just saying, like, something, you, like, hits you out in the left field, and you're kind of like, oh, is that real? Right. This poor guy can hear his little gas bubbles. Yeah. I can hear them. Aww. I've made a decision, and I'm telling you and all of our wonderful I internet family at the same that. time. <laughs> Why? I'm not putting you on the spot. Oh, yeah, okay. No, not at all. I love your shirt, though. Have you guys seen this shirt yet? This is the holiday shirt that. Um, I've been, like, giving people on Facebook. Isn't that cute? Yes, it is. I think we chose the perfect size, too. Yeah. You know, like, perfect size of the bodies. Yes. I can't really see it because of your arm, but... Carrie and I, I are... are oh, they, okay. Like, Carrie and I are not fans of, like, huge print. You know, like... This is pretty big for it, us. It's Yeah, that's really big for us, but we sat there and, like, kept looking at the 
the picture over and over again and we're like, is this big? Are people gonna like this? Is this big? Ah, anyway, I really do like it. Um, I don't have one yet because the color I want, they were all out of stock because of, uh, I'm guessing it's because of Black Friday and like Cyber Monday. Yeah. So I've been waiting patiently. I was hoping I would get one before the holidays, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Oh no. Oh, well. Oh well. no. All right, sorry about that. I had to turn the camera off, but anyway, I wanted to tell you guys that I have decided tomorrow morning I'm going to call the doctor and I'm going to talk to him about my red nose issue. And it's not because people are making fun of it because I'm used to it. They constantly do. Remember, like I've had this my whole life, you know, and every time I get worked up, like, you know, a little bit of anxiety or I get warm. If you guys remember from the streaming days, like I know that we want to get back and do that. We just Maybe when the kids get just a little bit older, at least Archer gets a little older. Obviously, Heron will, or Harrison will grow at the same time. But um, when I would get really warm because the computer was warm and the light was shining right in my face, I would, my nose would get red. So this is something I've had my whole life. But I was thinking today, and I I remember I was with a patient, and again, I'm I'm not talking about anything specific, but I had a patient just tell me that. He decided to make some changes because um, he was looking forward to living a long life. And I know that I don't have any heart issues other than being, what's the term, morbidly obese, which can have some impact and, and does, you know. And uh, other than being, um, having low iron, um, there aren't really any other ailments that I have. But in thinking, you know, listening to this person today, maybe there is something that I don't know. And it's probably good to make sure that I brought it to the doctor's attention and that he knows because I would really hate, <laughs> I mean, what if this was like the precursor and like, hey, you've had this red nose for a long time. Why didn't you say anything? So I guess I'm operating under the better safe than sorry. And I don't know if this information is gonna help anyone, but I just, I know that I get it from my mom. Like, bless her heart, and I mean that in a good way. But my mom doesn't like to take a lot of medicine. She doesn't like to go to the doctor. And I'm always telling her, you know, you gotta go to the doctor, you gotta get checked out. You know, and, and I'm, I'm not practicing what I preach. You know, if I'm gonna sit here and, and if this is gonna be my job to like tell people you know, and, and encourage people to go get checked on. Like, that could be something. Why don't you go talk to your primary doctor? You know, like, if I'm going to do that, I need to start doing it for myself. So, if that helps any of you guys... I mean, I, I'll, I'd, I'll be happy, you know, if I know that somebody hears this and they'll, you know, think, yeah, you know, maybe I should go to the doctor and get this checked out. Um, I know it's a little scary out there right now with a panty and everything, but I'm just going to keep operating under the whole better safe than sorry approach. <sighs> I'm scared though. You know, like, I think I really am scared because even though I... <laughs> oh, poor bud. Like, even though I don't think anything's wrong because again, I've suffered from red nose my whole life. <laughs> Aww. I still am scared to call. Well, I'm gonna go see if she needs some help. Bud sounds like he's a little upset. You guys, the cats, they are fighting outside. Watch this. Okay, so here comes the calico cat up the stairs. And there's the black and white cat eating. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, it's still going on. My gosh. Are they both okay? Carrie, only the calico cat came back down. 
orange cat could have went through the slats in the stairs. Come on, Harrison. Oh my goodness. Um, Carrie, look at that wardrobe right there. What does that look like to you? What? You don't see it? Look at the wardrobe. See? No. Do you see a face? Because I'm having serious Beauty and the Beast vibes right now. Oh. And I'm expecting a moth to come out of there. <laughs> Whoa, how embarrassing. See? See? See, Mommy? <laughs> Jeez, Harrison, how far were you going to let me fall? <laughs> Again? Okay. Oh God. What an ab workout. <laughs> oh my gosh, thank gosh. We have a seat. You guys are so cute. We have a pillow. We're just trying to play. This guy's got a little energy because um, you told him about your moms today, right? I did. And the hives. Yeah, so Harrison didn't get to burn his... Oh, you want me to sleep again? Okay, Harrison didn't get to burn as much energy today. <laughs> what are you? What song are you playing? Hey, will you tell me a story? Mommy. Will you tell me a story about dinosaurs? Mommy. Yes, baby. No way, mommy. Where's the thing? I mean, we read three with this, but we read that one. Uh huh. I mean, she would a pillow. You want me to sleep, and you're gonna wake me up with that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which we read a pillow. <laughs> I mean, we read that one. First, we read a pillow. I'm sleeping right now. For a pillow. You, I don't need a pillow. I'm okay, baby. Oh. You're such a good human being, bud. Did you know that? You putting it in mommy's pocket? Ow. He thinks the top of my neck, my shirt is my pocket. Mine? Yeah. No, that's mine. Hey, do you know your great grandma? Your great grandma Irene? No. She used to use her shirt no, as a pocket. No, that is her grandma with my pocket too. That's your pocket too? Uh huh. Okay. <sighs> Where, how many pockets do you have? I want a penguin. Oh, you want me to do the penguin? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's sleeping. The penguin's sleeping. You gotta be quiet and get it. You gotta get it. I bet you is. Mm, happy feet. Because his feet are happy too. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> hey, what was your great grandma's name? Do you remember me just talking about her? Well, I'm not going to eat that toy. No, we don't eat toys. I will kiss it. Hey, look at me. Look at me. Mwah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Ow. Mm -hmm. You got to be careful. You got to be careful because you're going to be playing with baby Archer soon and you got to be nice and you got to be gentle. So as you can hear, every time we've tried to kind of film today and have fun, Archer is really not having it today. So I think I'm gonna um, just turn off the camera. Are you all right? Yeah. Oh, you want everybody to see Oogie Boogie? Okay. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I think I'm gonna turn off the camera and see if there's anything that we can do out there. Maybe, jeez, Harrison, are you okay? Did you, did you break your arm? <laughs> anyway, I think we're gonna go play out there and maybe that'll help a little bit because sometimes when Harrison sits with him while he's underneath the uh, his little play mat helps him. So thank you for hanging out with us today. And thanks for sharing us with your friends. And we'll catch you on the What are we gonna catch him on? <laughs> Alright guys, we'll catch you on the flippity. Bye -bye.